Kenjutsu is a form of Japanese sword fighting developed by samurai around the 10th century. It began as a means to kill enemies, but over time evolved from a pure form of attack into a wider practice encompassing spiritual elements. Truly strong swordsmen were those who grew as a person while developing their skills. This spiritually evolved form of Kenjutsu became the basis for Kendo. In Kendo, there are four ways of scoring an Ippon, a strike which gains one full point. Men is a strike to the helmet. Kote is a strike to the wrist. Do is a strike to the side of the torso. Finally, Tsuki is a thrust to the throat. Kendo is a martial art born from the unique culture of Japan. But now it is gradually taking root around the world. The All Japan Kendo Championships are held annually at the Nippon Budokan, the spiritual home of Japanese martial arts. This year, the tournament was being held for the 60th time. The tournament's most prominent contender was Susumu Takanabe, winner of the previous two titles. He was aiming to become the first Kendoka ever to win three years in a row. Takanabe favors a particular attacking style. He often wins by men, a strike to the helmet. After preparing to strike, Takanabe can land a blow in just 0.1 seconds, faster than any other living swordsman. At this year's championships, Takanabe advances steadily, defeating all his opponents with strikes to the helmet. <laughs> Takanabe makes it to the semi-final. Waiting for him is an extremely tough opponent. Daiki Kiwada often wins by Kote, a strike to the wrist. He's won five of his six bouts with this technique. The semifinal gets underway. For Takanabe, still on course to become champion for the third time in a row, it's his biggest test so far. At the start of the match, both men are cautious, waiting for their opponent to make a move. As the semifinal progresses, Takanabe, wearing the white ribbon on the left, looks to score with his trademark attack, targeting the helmet. However, Kiwada, in the red ribbon, uses clever footwork to keep his distance, and Takanabe can't line up a point-winning charge. After six minutes, the match really gets going. Kiwada goes for the helmet instead of his usual attack to the wrist. The two swordsmen have now been in combat for more than seven and a half minutes. For the sixth time in this tournament, Kiwada strikes the Kote.
Takanabe, one point away from defeat, tries to level the score by striking Kiwada's helmet. But despite his repeated attacks, Kiwada always finds a way to block him. Takanabe's dreams of an unprecedented third straight tournament victory are broken at the semi-final stage. Kiwata tries to stay focused in the final after a long, tough match. Daiki Kiwata wins with a kote technique for the seventh time and becomes the All Japan Champion for the first time ever. <laughs>